Hello everyone. This video is to show off a couple add-ons that I highly recommend you install. They are swaps and dressing room. Um, first off, swaps. It's an add-on that lets you switch, lets you save the skills on your bars so that you can switch them at the touch of a button. For example, one button and I just switched out five skills and put in five new skills. So, highly recommend this add-on because uh, one big reason to use this is so you can slot rapids in and out of your bar. Um, rapids is a really good skill that you want to have when you're riding to move around Cyrodiil a lot faster, but in a fight, it's kind of a waste to slot it. Eats up a ton of stamina and it's not that useful, honestly. So I'd rather have another skill when I turn a fight. So that's when this add-on comes in handy. Um, first, let me show you how to use it. Um, I'll put the link to the for you to download it on the description of the video. Download that. Put it in your Elder Scrolls add-on folder. Start up the game. Uh, you're gonna, it's an old add-on, so you need to make sure you come here to add-ons. Press escape, add-ons, and make sure this checkbox. You have this checked. Allow out-of-date add-ons. And that is also checked off right here. Where is it? Here it is, swap skills continue. So make sure you have those checked. Reload your, U your UI and it'll add this extra window here when you open up your, your skills menu uh, first though you need to set some hotkeys for your presets go to controls key bindings and go all the way down till you see swaps and here you can set your hotkeys for your bar switches uh, you can I suggest you use your number pad uh, this is what works for me because I'm using a gaming mouse. You can just use one, two, three, four, five, or any hotkeys you want, whatever works for you. Once you do that, um, this will be blank for you. So, first thing you want to do is save your current uh, skill bars, the ones you want to use often, and when you're entering a fight. Um, so this one. Although I'm never going to switch out from this one, I save it in case I accidentally do, so I can switch it back. Um, so that this is my fighting bar. So, my, also my front bar. My back bar is my buff and healing bar. Uh, here is where I usually switch skills in and out. Uh, I pick a skill that I can live without in case... Uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, you can switch your skills in and out when you're out of combat, but the moment you enter combat, you're stuck with what you have until you exit combat. So, for rapids, I like to uh, switch it out with shuffle, because they uh, kind of do the same thing, remove slows. Um, oh, I forgot to say shuffle, hold on. All right. Those are my fighting bars, the ones I want in a fight. And now, here's my Rapids bar. Alright, there we go. Uh, and there, it's saved. Now I can switch these in and out. Just be careful if you spam this too much. You're gonna get a pop-up. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. That says you're spamming the server. And you're gonna get kicked if you keep spamming too much. So uh, anyways, once you got those three bars saved, now when you're ready to move to get on your horse and ride somewhere, just switch rapids in, use it, ride to your destination. If you see enemies, switch it out and just dismount and fight it out. It's that easy. Um, so that's one use for it. Um, there should be no reason for people to be f 
falling behind because they don't have rapids on their bar or they're calling for people to come back to share rapids there should be no reason for that everybody has access to that skill and if you have this sawed on you can just slot it in and out as you need it um, so that's one use for that another use that I have for this add-on is uh, my I have an extra bar that I use for when attacking or defending keeps. Um, <clears throat> these skills I currently have are really good for field fights and for one-on-ones or just killing players. But when it comes to sieging keeps or defending keeps, uh, there's a lot of skills here in assault and support skill trees that are very useful that I really want to make use of. Uh, for example, on my Templar, I slot. I have a bar a preset to slot these two skills: siege, weapon shield, and purge. That allows me to uh, pretty much eat ballista fire like nothing. Like if I'm on the ram, I can put up my sea shield, and as oils are dropping, I just purge them off, no problem. Uh, that really keeps my group alive when we're front dooring. Another way I use those two skills is I can put down like three stone trevs or four ballistas and cover them all with one seed shield and just fire them on as they're firing on me they I just purge it like they, they do nothing to me and I can just sit here under my seed shield and my purges and just keep firing my trevs until the wall comes down uh, really which more of you guys would do that because it would make sieging so much easier and whenever I do it they tend to just give up and not shoot me anymore and they just shoot you guys so if you all did this then it'd make it keep us all alive um, but on stamina characters like my Dragonite here I don't have the magicka to use these skills so um, I do ha I do want to have caltrops for defending keeps um, this is really handy to throw in a breach it'll slow it'll slow the whole and everybody coming in by 70% for three seconds and then after that they're slowed by 30% and it damages them if they're fighting on it so that's that's pretty good um, it keeps them down in the in the in the breaches long enough for more oils to drop on them and that can make or break your keep defense um, of course rapids if, if it's a coordinated group they'll have rapids to um, to not be slowed by your caltrops but if we're a coordinated group we can counter attack them as they're rushing in and they're gonna have to stop and heal and attack you and, and you know when they do that then they lose their rapids and then the caltrops is useful it's slowing them it's damaging them so really would appreciate it if every stamina build has this and covers an entire like, inner keep with them it make defending keeps so much easier um, so definitely I, I, I have a preset for that so that When I'm defending keeps, I'll have it ready. So, fighting bar, buff bar, rapids bar, and keep defense bar. So I just slot them in and out as I need them. Um, you can customize your bars however you want. There's more you can do with this. For example, here in my rapids bar, I can uh, I can put barrier with that oh, let me switch to it. there you go for example we there's there, a group when they're rushing into a breach always needs someone to cast rapid so they can just run past all the uh, the caltrops but a uh, barrier is also good when we're in there because you're going to be taking damage so I can be the guy that buffs the group of barrier and then rapids as we rush in um, 
example, and I'm gonna edit this preset. The way you edit it is just uh, stop the skills you want, and then load current hotbar, and there you go, save it. So now I've managed. I changed it. So that's how you edit your uh, your presets. So there's my rapids bar, and it also is my uh, group buffing bar when we're rushing into breaches. Um, for my caltrops bar, I can go, I can be add more skills that are useful when defending the breach. For example, trap beast. Um, swap out her rogue slash here. I still want my heals and my buff here. So, yeah, I can put. Trap beasts here. Uh, throw down Caltrop, throw down the trap beast on the breach, and someone might even get stuck here and get hit with oils. Uh, also, another good skill to have on something like this would be. What is it? Meteor? Because uh, you might be on a. Say a fire and a fire ballista, and then you, as they rush him in, you're gonna be back here, so you can drop a meteor on them, and then rush in and then, you know, try and kill as many as you can. So I just don't have that on this character, but yeah, uh, that's what you can do with this add-on. Save that. You can also name them if you want. For example, this would be my my front bar, save. My back bar. This right here is my rapids bar. And that's my couch drops bar. And another good one to have is a, a bar that slots all your, your skills and need leveling. For example, I need Dawnbreaker on this guy. Trap these can be morphed. Inner Rage. What else? Uh, guard and Sea Shield. Can level these save that. And now I have a a preset I can switch to when I'm up, when I'm turning in quests. When I'm about to, when I'm waiting around for a D tick, those usually have a ton of experience to, that go with the AP. I can slot this bar and level these skills in PV while I'm PVPing. Um, I messed that up. These skills. So those are all the uses I I have for this add-on, and I highly recommend that you use it too. Another. Thing I should mention is um, this add-on is mainly it's only good if you only have like one build for your character if you have multiple builds then I highly recommend you download this other add-on dressing room um, I'll put the link to it in the description as well download it it's up to date so but you're gonna have this on anyways for skill swaps um, all you need to do is go to controls and set a hotkey for it. Where is it? Dressing room, dressing room. There it is. Just uh, just set a hotkey for the window and that's all you need. Um, you can also set presets, but I find it's... You don't really need them. Plus, I'm using, I'm using this other skill swap item for that. But... Uh, yeah, hotkey this window, and now you can open it, and then save your this this one. It lets you switch your gear and your your skill bars. So, for example, I have a this is my solo small skill build. If I want to say go into PVE or use this Viper Tremor skill build instead. I have it saved there, and then it automatically switches all my gear and all my uh, skills. Or if I want a PVE instead, uh, here's my tank build. Switch to it. Here we go, now I'm ready to PVE tank. But if I want DPS, 
There's my DPS gear and skills. So, uh, the way you do, the way to uh, to set this up is uh, yours are gonna be all empty like this one here. Put on the gear you want, load the bars you want. Uh, first, you give it a name, and then right here, shift click to save your gear. And there you go. That's all the gear I'm currently wearing. Come here, shift click to save your bar. This bar I'm currently using, switch weapons, and then save your other bar. And, it's, and now you can uh, click in here, will switch you to that gear. For example, and there it is. Um, so this add-on is really, really good when you're uh, when you're running multiple builds on your character, and from switching gear, PVE gear to PVP gear, from solo gear to group gear, like a group build. Uh, I don't want to see you using your gank builds in group; they're useless. Put on a more useful AOE group build, um, and once you switch gear. You can still use your skill swaps out on. You just have to edit your bars here. Um, for example, that's my front bar. Just save it. Switch weapon, that's my back bar. Save my new back bar. Uh, now I want my rapids bar. Just throw in rapids. Save it. Uh, my caltrops bar, throw in caltrops. Save it and this can stay the same that's my my skills and the xp so there i'm playing a new build and i got my rapids and my caltrops ready on the new build wait i fucked this stuff somehow going on alright let's do this again load current bar save load current bar save wrap is save couch is save There we go, I don't know what happened there, but... They have a new build and I'm making use my Rapids and my Caltrops bars there. So... Highly recommend you get you guys download this, these two add-ons, and make use of them like I'm doing here. Um, it'll really help and make things easier when you're switching when we're defending keys, when we're uh, having field fights, whatever. Alright, I hope this video was helpful. I have a good one.